does uh, Modi fulfill the hopes that were raised by his victory? I, I mean, there was such a weight of expectation, wasn't there? There really was. And I think, you know, if you judge him purely based on what was going on when he took power, um, you know, the, the sort of drift and uh, disillusion that had taken hold in India, then he's done all right. He's, he's certainly cleared that up. He's stabilized the macroeconomic environment and so forth. But as you say, the expectations were much bigger. People expected him to lay the groundwork for a fundamental uh, uh, shift in, in India's growth trajectory. And I think it's hard to argue that he's done that so far. But what has this first year told us about how he intends to govern? Well, I think the first thing it tells us is that he is not a, a, an ideological um, leader. You know, there are a lot of people who voted for him uh, perhaps imagined that he'd be a sort of Indian Margaret Thatcher or Ronald Reagan, somebody who would come in and, and sweep away, you know, the, the legacy of the socialist era in, in India. Um, but he's governed the way he governed as chief minister of Gujarat state, which is almost more on a, on a project by project basis. So he's gotten many things done. He's lifted diesel subsidies, for instance. He's auctioned off uh, coal mines. Um, you know, things that where, where his own decisiveness can make a difference. Um, but it, it, he hasn't fundamentally changed the way India operates, the way its land, labor, and capital markets operate, uh, because that's just not the way he thinks.